All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about shortcuts that you can use to speed up your workflow in Adobe Illustrator. So there are a bajillion shortcuts that are available in Adobe Illustrator, and you can even create your own if you uh, wish to do that. I'll add a link in the description below to where you can see every shortcut available to you. But I wanna talk about the ones that I use uh, just so you don't get overwhelmed by the vast amount, especially because they're kind of hard to remember unless you use them all the time. So just start out with these few and uh, you'll get up and going very quickly. So the first thing that I use constantly is the spacebar and clicking around. So if you want to just like move around your artboard, if you hold the space bar, it brings up the hand tool. And if you click, it will uh, grab the canvas and you can like actually pull it around like so, which is pretty cool and extremely useful. Like I literally always have my hand above the, the space bar just so I can quickly move about the artboard. All right, so the next thing, in addition to navigating around your canvas is uh, zooming in and out. So Command plus will zoom you in. Uh, Command minus, tapping that several times will zoom you out a little bit each time. And then you can use a space bar and click around to get exactly where you need to go. Another handy thing is Command plus zero, which is right next to minus, will bring up the artboard that you're working on. Um, so if you like don't really know where you're at, if you're super zoomed in, uh, you can hit command zero and it will bring you back out, uh, which is super handy. All right, so next let's talk about the tools that you'll use and the shortcuts for those. So V is the selection tool. You'll use that constantly to uh, select various objects. For example, you can select that, move it around. Uh, the direct select tool is A. One way to think about it is the direct select tool A um, for anchor point. The direct select tool allows you to manipulate the anchor points individually, which is super, super handy. If you click P, you'll bring up the pin tool. You can drag and select those and then hit A again to manipulate, manipulate these anchor points. Those are both super handy. So if you hit M, that's the shape tool. So that's how you can drag out a shape. And then if you hit A, you can change the corners and stuff. So M is for the rectangle shapes. The ellipse tool has its own shortcut and that is L. So if you hit L, uh, you can drag out a uh, circle, which is pretty nifty. Then the other shapes don't have their own shortcuts, but if you use them constantly, you can set up your own uh, shortcut, which is pretty cool. The next one you'll use quite a bit is the eyedropper. So if you hit I, you can uh, change a color to match another object, uh, which is super handy. Or if uh, you have a object selected that has a different color, you can hit option and click with the eyedropper tool to change that new object to match the selected object. And then you can hit V and click out to deselect all of that. Another uh, shortcut that is super, super handy is E for the transform tool. So let me undo this, uh, it's kind of messy. So if I grab this and hit E, I have the transform options. So you can um, manipulate it like this. You can hold shift to scale it up or down um, while constraining the proportions. If you click perspective distort, if you click on one of these, it will uh, change the perspective by uh, closing in uh, the sides or expanding which is pretty handy. There's also this free distort, kind of allows you to do whatever you'd like. This tool, however, is kind of weird. So like, for example, if you bring this one in, you'd think you would select this anchor point right here, but instead you have to grab this outer box uh, to continue to manipulate with it. And then the same for this one, that's how you grab this one. Uh, but there is quite a bit you can do with the transform tools. All right, then let's talk about an absolute essential. Command S, and that is saving your file. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever lost a file before, but it is not fun uh, when you do, losing hours of work. So uh, Command S is file save. Command Shift S is file save as. And then another handy one is Command N, and that is how you can create a new file while working in another one. So if you need to work on a new illustration, just hit Command N and you create the uh, template that you want. I usually don't do that. For example, if I'm creating a couple of illustrations that go together, I'll just use the artboard. Oh, the artboard tool. So Shift O is how you can bring up the artboard tool. You can click and drag around the artboard like so, which is pretty handy. Um, you can change the size of it by, by dragging out from the edges. 
Um, or you can go up here and define exactly what you want, which is pretty cool, the width and the height. You can also drag out and select a different artboard and you can create, I think up to like a thousand artboards nowadays. So there's quite a bit you can do. The artboards come in handy when you go to export your files. So say you have an illustration on each of these, for example, let's say you have an illustration on each of these. Uh, you can go up to File, Export, and then Export for Screens, or I believe it's uh, Shift-Command-E. Nope, it's Option-Command-E. Uh, brings up that same panel. And then you can export each of your artboards uh, together instead of having to do it one by one. So yeah, these uh, shortcuts will definitely come in handy and definitely speed up your workflow instead of you having to manually uh, go over to the tool or go to your file menu up here to select something. They do take some getting used to and uh, some training to remember them all, but I definitely recommend re-watching this video to pick them all up again and also checking that link in the description below. There's a list of every single shortcut that you have uh, available to you, which is a very, very long list in case you want to figure out how to do other stuff. But yeah, that is all for this video.